Dr Jackie Blue. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm pleased to be speaking to the third reading of the Road User Charges Bill. I sat on the Transport Industrial Committee in the last term of Parliament, and what a good committee it was, chaired by David Bennett, and continues to be chaired by David Bennett. Uh, where we heard many submissions on this bill. I'd like to congratulate Stephen Joyce, the previous Minister of Transport. I think he made a significant contribution in the transport area and certainly has made um, safer journeys for New Zealanders um, over his term. I'd like to op op take the opportunity to congratulate officials and submitters on this bill and to wish the new committee, which I'm not no longer on, well on its future deliberations and uh, business in the future. Mr Speaker, this bill um, has been amended to ensure that it is enduring because, quite frankly, the current system has been outdated. It's really last century and it was well and truly overdue for an overhaul. This bill will modernise and uh, the road user charge system. It will reduce compliance costs for operators, eliminate the scope for error and fraud in the purchase of road user charge licences and simplify enforcement and administration requirements. It's very important we must have a fair system, a balanced system and a well-managed system. This is what this law will do. The road user charges or RUC system was established in 1978. It's a long time ago and this review is well, as well as very timely. All the revenue from RUC goes to the National Land Transport Fund and the fund is used mainly for road construction and maintenance along with other activities benefiting road users. And the bill is a result of the recommendations by the independent review of the New Zealand road user charging system, and it brings about the most significant reform of road user charges since it was introduced. It's a very significant reform. Um, diesel vehicles, Mr Speaker, are very popular in New Zealand. Diesel is cheaper than petrol and more economical to run. Fuel consumption tests generally give results between 20 and 30 per cent better for a diesel engine car compared to the same model with a petrol engine. But also you've got to know that up to 36 per cent of diesel is used off-road, such as on farms, manufacturing, industrial and commercial ventures and boats. But back to this bill, Mr Speaker. This bill is about bringing the RUC system into the 21st century, from 1978 to 2012. This bill addresses the concern about ruck evasion, which is conservatively estimated to be $30 million per year, which is not an insignificant sum. This bill will remove the evasion opportunities and encourage timely payment, making a, a fairer system for all. The main provisions of the bill are, first of all, a change to the definition of vehicle weight. Currently, road user charges are based on a distance travelled and the weight carried. It's complicated and it's been open to error. It can, an operator has to guess the actual gross weight to be carried. It can be difficult for an operator to predict in advance the actual weight to be carried. It's also very difficult, of course, to recover the charges owing after the fact. The bill changes the definition of vehicle weight to a fixed road user charge so that operators don't have to guess in advance and so the government authorities don't have to deal with recovering money afterwards, Mr Speaker. And inevitably, this will result in lower administrative costs for the industry and the government. And, of course, it will mean less road user charges are lost, few invasions. So it's a win-win. There are a number of other provisions, Mr Speaker. Um, others are removal of a time licence system and modernisation of the list of vehicles exempted from road user charges. Um, there's also an improvement to the regulatory framework for electronic management systems. And really, this really shows how far we've come from 1978 through to 2012, really back in 1977 when the Road Users Charge Act came into um, power. We didn't have electronic systems, we didn't have the internet, none of this would have been dreamed of all that time ago. So really, we've brought the system into the 21st century and it means much more efficiency, much more fairness, it means that road user charges can be purchased electronically and a distance licence to be displayed electronically on an onboard unit situated in the vehicle and of course the distance travelled by a vehicle is measured electronically. It's all done electronically, something which um, our parents 
certainly no one would have thought of back in 1977. And it, quite frankly, the Road User Charges Bill of 1977 never would have dreamt of such a possibility that in 2012 we've been going to such a modern system. Another um, provision in the bill, Mr Speaker, is that it's a fairer, simpler and less costly structure in relation to offences, penalties particularly for light vehicles. And I can't emphasise the fact that really a fixed ruck weight means that the distance-based evasion will be the main focus of compliant management and will obviously will save money and save time. Really, this bill, can't stress enough, is about bringing RUC into the 21st century. It's about reducing compliance costs for transport operators and ultimately reducing transport costs for our businesses and exporters. These changes will make it easier and fairer to all those who pay RUC, and that's got to be good. Changing the definition of licence weights, removing the confusing time licence system, and simplifying the list of exempted vehicles will all reduce compliance costs for businesses and simplify the administration processes for industry and government and saving a lot of time, frustration and confusion at times. The New Zealand Transport Agency will also be able to take greater advantage of modern internet technology in administering RUC payment channels. This bill, Mr Speaker, addresses concerns about the evasion which I mentioned before, which can be estimated up to $30 million a year, which is a very big sum of money, and that will be addressed in this bill with, uh, with, the, with the different provisions that we've talked about. Really, for people who are using RUC honestly, uh, where they have been subsidising people who have been baiting the system and have been um, uh, not been paying their RUC charges as they should be. This bill will remove a number of evasion opportunities and encourage timely payment in, and making the system fair for. Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. Thank you. Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr.